Hi, I'm Seth Freudberg and I'm the Director of Options Training here at SMB in Manhattan. I'm also uh, the head trader of SMB's Options Desk. So I'd like to talk today about a, a silly thing that happens to uh, options traders uh, when, you, when you first get started. And I just wanted to warn you about it, save you some money uh, so that you don't fall into a simple little trap, which uh, can happen. I call it chasing your own tail in execution. So uh, let's take a look at, uh, there's the guy chasing his tail. Uh, that's the dog chasing his tail and you don't wanna be that guy. And we'll talk about how you can get yourself into the position that that dog is in. So uh, what happens uh, in options trading is when you uh, use your online broker, you'll see that there are uh, a bid and an ask for every option and a bid and an ask for every option spread that you might be interested in buying or selling as the case may be. So obviously the best bid uh, that you see uh, up on the screen, that's the best bid being offered in the world at that moment. And you also see the best offer that's being uh, um, uh, offered in the world at that moment and the mid is the mathematical uh, average of those two numbers or the midpoint between uh, those two numbers. So that's quick definition of the bid and the ask in the mid. So now let's move into what can happen if you're not experienced. Um, <clears throat> there's a difference between the best bid in the world offered by market makers and the best bid in the world offered by a single retail trader who may be a guy just getting started, experimenting, doesn't know what he's doing, et cetera. And um, you can tell, and we'll go over that a little bit later, exactly how you can tell the difference between a market maker's bid or market maker's ask versus a retail trader. But for the time being, just understand that there's a difference. Now, so let's take uh, an example of how a single retail trader can put another trader into a trap. Uh, this, today I was uh, going through my own online broker and I noticed that the uh, Russell 2000 index June 18th 1080 call, which is a very deep in the money call because the Russell's trading at uh, around at the 1214-1215 area right now. Uh, that call, <clears throat> that deep in the money call, full of intrinsic value, is bid 134.30 and ask 136.80 at the time. You know, I was putting this presentation together. Obviously, that's going to change every every second. So the mid between those two is mathematically one hundred thirty-five dollars and fifty-five cents. Under normal circumstances, you should be able to put an order in around that price and get get hit, get filled. In other words, somewhere around that price. Uh, in this case, there were fifty contracts offered on 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 the uh, offer, and there were forty-four contracts on the bid. Uh, and that created that mid of 135.55. And that kind of offer and that kind of size typically is gonna be indicative that that is the market maker's offer. Another tip is that there were you know, no, no volume on that particular call today as of uh, the time of day that I was looking at that. So those are sort of indications that these are, these are a market maker's bid and ask. This is not not at all driven by an individual uh, retail trader. Now, suppose that you want to make an offer to buy that call. So I'm, I'm going to say you or a guy will call Joe Retail. What happens when Joe Retailer puts a bid in for a particular option? Uh, what happens in your online broker's uh, display? And what happens is by putting an order in at the mid, which is 135.55, your online broker will immediately flash that the mid has changed to the mathematical average of your bid versus the market maker's ask. Well, that's going to drive the mid up to a higher number. And that higher number uh, is not the real mid. The real mid is where you are. The real mid is where you originally put your price in. If the market more or less gets settled, and stops moving a great deal as you put your order in, you are around the mid. The fact that you now created a mathematical average because your bid now became the best bid in the world is really irrelevant to where you should get filled. So how does this turn into a trap for the typical trader? The trader who does not understand how the mid is getting calculated suddenly sees the mid jump because of his own offer or the offer of a single retail uh, trader. Um, and uh, you are, let's say, a second trader, 
you're not really aware of the fact that the mid just got pushed up artificially by uh, another retail trader and suddenly you're working with bad data basically. You're working with bad information thinking that that new mid pushed up by that single retail trader or even yourself uh, is in fact uh, an appropriate uh, price to pay but actually it's too much to pay. And that single retail trader whether it's yourself or someone else has created that situation. So if you then begin to chase that number and put in a, a new order at the new mid, that will in fact increase the mid again to another artificial number. Eventually the market maker won't be able to restrain himself from taking uh, your price because it's way higher than he expected to get because that original mid was really what he thought was the appropriate value for the shares. So your order is going to get filled, but it's going to get filled at a ridiculously high price compared to what you should have paid had you just understood that you were basically chasing your own tail. So the moral of the story is learn to recognize the difference between a market maker's offers, which are normally a, fair, a fairly large number of, of uh, offers and bids at, uh, at a certain price. And if you see a one lot or a two lot, that's usually going to be a retail trader, that number must be essentially ignored. You've got to be looking at the bid ask created by the market maker. That's the market maker's wink to you or the signal to you of approximately what price he will take uh, for, um, uh, for that particular option. So uh, if you see, the, and, and a, a dead ringer is, uh, or a dead uh, giveaway, I should say, is if you see the exact same number of options offered on the bid as the ask, that's almost got to be a market maker. So that's his signal to you. The mid is his signal to you of what he's willing to take. Ignore that one lot or that two lot and uh, then you won't, you won't chase your own tail. So don't be this guy. Don't be the guy chasing your own tail. Rather, uh, you want to be uh, an intelligent trader. If you, if you do end up being the dog chasing his own tail, you're going to end up broke like this guy from Monopoly. So with that, I'm going to say thank you for your uh, time today and we'll see you next week.